make sure to download the image from the video description there is a link and you can download it for free and let's begin first go to layer new layer and let's name it graphics and hit ok click here on the rectangle to hold it and pick the custom shape tool so hold the left mouse button until the menu appears and pick the custom shape tool then let's remove the stroke from here make sure there is no stroke and let's pick black for the color and hit ok then go right here at the top, click this little arrow, and pick any shape you like. I'm gonna be using the one located in Wild Animals that is named Deer. So click on the shape you wanna use, double click on it. Then hold the Shift key, and click and drag to create it. then change the blending mode to overlay hit ctrl plus j to duplicate it hit ctrl plus t for free transformation or go to edit free transform path right click on the shape and choose flip horizontal Hold the shift key and just click and drag it like this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now click here to commit the transformation. Hold the control key and select the other deer or the other shape then hit ctrl plus g on your keyboard to put them in a group then hit you can hit ctrl plus j to make it darker by copying making a group copy of the group and let's reduce the opacity of this one to 50% right here. Hold again the control key on your keyboard, select the first group and hit control plus G again to merge the two groups in one group. So now hit Ctrl plus T to transform the group and rotate it like this. So we're going to put it on the front of the car. So rotate it to something like this. Let's move it a little bit. Then just right click and choose distort so try to match the points this one here around the emblem or the logo of the car let's expand this one in the upper left corner like this and let's move this one to the edge of the car like this let's drag the leg 
of the right gear to somewhere around the point where this point here where the light of the car is and move this one of the nearer deer to somewhere around here that's further adjusted from here this central point and also the top central point let's give it more perspective like this drag the upper left point a little bit more to the up and i think this one the upper right should be somewhere around here so try just move the points and try to match the perspective until it starts to look right so this should be the central line of the car imagine a line that goes through the center of the car but in perspective so somewhere around here and match the central point points to this imaginary line i think it should be more to the right so something like this and here at the bottom it sh also should be more to the right and let's drag this point a little bit more and this one so I think it should look something like this what else can we do move it a little bit when you drag from the center you move it around and let's right click again and choose free transform I think it should be rotated a little bit more like this and scale it a little bit let's make it a bit smaller and double click in the center of the image to commit the transformation I think it looks good let's hit control post T again i want to make it a little bit larger and click here to commit the transformation and we can add even more realism by going to right click on the group and choose convert to smart object Let's change the blending mode again to overlay because it kind of merged the layers after we convert it. Hit Ctrl plus T again, right click and this time choose Warp right here. And now you have all these points to adjust so let's bring this part a little bit more like this and i think this part also should be a little bit closer like this so take a look at the far there try to imagine the by checking the symmetry of the shapes and try to match them in a way that keeps it keeps this symmetry and i think it looks good 
I think it looks good, so let's click here to commit this warp transformation. And let's add one more layer. You can add also add layers from here. So click here on this little plus sign to create a new layer. And go to image, apply image, and hit OK. And I want to go and add more sharpening to the image, to sharpen the image more. So go to filter, sharpen, and choose smart sharpen. So this is before and this is after. And you can reduce the noise from here. Let's see what amount looks better. So Something like I want it stronger. So let's see something like two hundred fifty and for the radius three point two. So this is before and this is after and hit OK. You can hit control plus zero to get back to the to fit the entire image on the screen and this is it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and give it a like. So subscribe to Damien Photoshop. Thank you.